Hi, welcome back to the Wisdom of Your Soul. I'm your host, Janice Mary. I'm so glad you're back. I hope you're doing well in this weather, um, or if you live someplace where it's nice and sunny, you're enjoying enjoying that and staying safe. Um, today, I wanted to talk about um, basically living a or choosing to live a soul centered day. Um, you know, we we definitely know how to live an ego centered day. Um, so when I think about what to talk about um, for these shows, I try to, you know, kind of hit topics that maybe my clients have been bringing up or just something that hits me when I do um, connect more to the soul energy. So, you know, when I was thinking about it, what, I, what came to mind was that we have a path for our day and um, when we start to connect to that different place, the place within us, um, it's really a choice. It's almost like choosing, you know, what you're going to have for breakfast. Are you going to have a healthy breakfast that feels good in your body, or are you going to eat um, a whole bunch of uh, food that's going to make you feel tired and sluggish? And either choice is fine. And in, in the spirit world or our soul world, they don't really care what we eat, except that they, they do want to point out to us how it makes it feel in our body. So if we eat things, and consume things that numb us out or make us feel tired um, or is too speedy even, like if I'm drinking too much coffee and I'm like talking a million miles an hour, um, that's something for us to to not get crazy about but to consider choosing maybe um, not to do and to do the thing that feels best in our body. So um, when we talk about trying to have a soul-filled day, what does that mean? So for me, it's just stating the intention that today I'm going to let my soul be more in charge of the day or I'm going to let my con I'm going to be more conscious today. Um, I'm going to try not to let the ego run my day. And, you know, that can be not easy for most of us. And most of my clients, we get caught up in this ego that just is always in our imagination and wants to tell us terrible things um, and wants to, you know, just kind of always make us feel not good enough. So it's really important for us to choose another way. And we can, we can choose another way. And there's many, many ways to connect to your soul and, and you're going to find your path. But just knowing that there is another option is step one. Just to know there is another voice that you can consult with. There's another voice within you that just has the most beautiful words and the most beautiful thoughts and ideas and, and love for you that you probably are not feeling so much here. Um, but you want to make it intentional. So I know sometimes when I connect, you know, to do readings, you know, sometimes I'll do readings for people. Um, I usually I'm holding something so like today I'm holding the stone um, and I just kind of keep it in my hands and I just kind of hold it and and just kind of um, you know meditate with it a little bit so you could pick your favorite stone or your favorite crystal or um, and anything that that makes you feel connected um, to that energy or to spirit or it could be um, a cross it could be it could be anything, anything that gets you out of that ego mind and connected to some form of love. So this has a heart on it, and it was made by my daughter. So it has her energy in it, and it's very special to me. So when I hold this, um, it it's, makes it easier for me to go into that energy. So when I do readings, I tend to sit there and just kind of rub it and hold it and, and kind of um, connect into that powerful soul energy that we all have. And why do we want to do this? Um, it, 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 why we want to do this is because it enhances our human life. Um, we are spiritual beings, if, if you believe that. I totally believe that. Um, having a very human experience, and we love being human. We love being here, experiencing life, and um, doing all the things that we are meant to do here in this lifetime. Um, but sometimes we can get so bogged down by this mind, and I think... Um, our ego has really, in a way, taken over a little bit too much, and we need a better balance. So 
I think one of the ways that we can do that is to remind ourselves to have an intentional day. So today, if I'm going to take my rock and just have this very intentional soul day, what does that mean? You know, what does that mean? So, so get making it very simple. What kind of day do you want to have? Um, do you want to have a peaceful day? Do you want to have a day with a lot of laughter? Um, do you want to have a happy day? And just setting that intention aligns you with with a conscious soul energy. Just just having that intention, just getting out of the ego mind, which is already on the list of all the things that we're supposed to do today. So having you know your your um, reminder and holding your reminder and having it around you through the day is a good thing because it will always remind you to make the choice. I can go in the ego's direction, which is going to just drive me crazy today, or I can go in the soul-centered direction. And the soul-centered direction is just a beautiful direction to go into. And it taps you into um, all your wisdom and all your knowledge and and things that can really help you through your day. Um, so it's a real benefit in, in really trying to connect to this energy. Um, it's funny because last night I was watching the Bee Gees documentary about their life and um, I tend to watch things that people have a lot of passion around because it makes me feel very connected, not that I can write songs or I'm a musician, but when people are in their passion, I feel like they're really in that soul energy. And uh, Barry Gibb was talking about that he, when he writes music, he feels like the music comes from another place. Like he, it's in the ethers and he can just take a song and um, it's just there. It, you know, he hears the lyrics, he hears the music, and then that's a new song. And... Um, and that would happen when, when the Bee Gees, when all the brothers would go into the studios, they would, would not even have songs or music. They would just go in. And when the three of them together um, combined, they almost became one. And then they would just write songs and write music. And look at all the beautiful music that they composed. And, um, you know, they were so talented and had such beautiful voices. And, and their voices each was an instrument coming together um, for this like beautiful, beautiful symphony. So we can see how when people go in this soul-directed way, um, magic happens. You know, um, incredible creativity. You know, things that you don't think that you're capable of become become possible. You know, the ego will never tell you that you could be a great musician or that you could be an awesome writer or um, that you're going to help tons of people. You know, the ego is never, ever going to encourage you and tell you that. But your your consciousness, the soul energy, what lives within you will, you know, and we'll open the doors and we'll show you where to go and we'll remind you of who you are and what's important to you and what you might want to accomplish in this life, you know. That's the biggest thing is like, what do you want to do here? You know, as you're having a soul-centered day, a conscious day, you're going to tap more into, you know, what is it that you like? What, what drives you? What, what is your passion? You know, um, everybody has some passion around something. And for you to find yours and then to um, just kind of be lost in it um, helps you to unlock the door to, to the soul energy that is just filled with love and filled with support for you. Um, so it is something that you really want to try to tap into yourself, for yourself. Um, the ego is always going to be there. You know, the ego is not going anywhere, so you don't have to worry about it. And the ego is never going to be that supportive. So, you know, what I really do try to encourage people um, to support themselves, you know, when you support yourself and you have compassion for yourself, you're going in the direction of that soul energy. Um, when you're in the ego, you're so far away from it because the soul does not agree with anything that the ego has to say. The soul does that energy that lives within you is is just love, and that it's the energy, it's your energy of love, and it's who you are and who you go, who you will be in spirit again. It is not 
Um, it is not what you think. It's not who you think you are right now. So to, to just know you have that choice and to tap into this infinite amount of wisdom and this infinite amount of love and guidance, um, I highly recommend you do, you know, if you, if you can. So the way to do that, you know, simply, okay, today I'm going to have a very conscious day. What does that mean? I'm going to be very present. I'm going to be present in my life today. I'm going to choose um, not to get too much, too caught up in my ego. I'm going to choose that when I do the things that I need to get done in the day, that I'm going to invite my soul into it, that I'm going to move into that energy, which is an interesting experience because it's much different. You know, when you're in that better energy, um, you kind of just float through your day. You're not very critical. You're just very involved in whatever you're doing. So on days when I'm really connected and I'm really conscious, you know, I'm probably a better therapist, uh, a better mother, um, a better cook, um, because I'm not in my head being distracted, you know, so I'm not split. I'm not split between what I'm doing and what I'm thinking. I'm just in what I'm doing and bringing that energy into whatever it is that I'm doing. And that really does unlock and open the door to, to your spiritual soul energy because you that's what it is. It's just consciousness. So if you're consciously aware of what you're doing and being in the moment with your conscious, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel very, very different. And then the need to be so perfect and the need to do all the things the ego wants you to do becomes secondary, you know, just becomes secondary and you feel very supported in what you're doing for today. So, so begin, begin today or begin tomorrow or even just start over right now and say, all right, I'm going to um, realize that the ego talks first and I always listen. And that could create not a very good day. So the minute my ego talks, I'm going to consider listening and striving and pushing for to listen to the other voice. I'm going to find whatever it is that reminds me of that. And I'm going to hang on to it all day long. And I'm going to look at it. And I'm going to ask for that second opinion about me and today and what I'm supposed to be doing and who I am. You know, and when you give yourself that, you will feel different. You have felt this energy before. It's not foreign to you. It's you. Um, it's getting to experience yourself in a whole new way. Um, so you, it, you will recognize it. You will recognize it and you will feel different. And it'll just make you feel better, you know. So, um so today, I want you to just kind of commit to having having the soul-centered day and to remind yourself throughout the day and, and just see the difference in yourself. Be very conscious, you know. Um, if thoughts come into your mind, that's okay. You, you can't get rid of your thoughts, but you're just going to bring yourself back to this moment and bring yourself back to what you're doing. And... And try not to um, evaluate whatever it is that you're doing, you know. Just let yourself be in whatever you are. Like you don't have to have a running commentary about everything that you do. And you don't have to put yourself under that microscope. So many of my clients are, are under this terrible ego microscope. And they, they put themselves under this microscope. It's like everything that they do, the ego is criticizing. Everything. You know, from the minute that they wake up. So it doesn't surprise me that they're so, you know, tired and unhappy and stressed and have a headache. Because when you put yourself under that microscope through the ego, you're not going to be able to live and you're not going to be able to find joy. Um, when you put yourself under the microscope of your soul, you know, that is such a different experience. It's such a beautiful experience. You'll feel nothing but support and love for you and um, just amazing, amazing experience. So um, let that be your guide. You know, let that be your guide. Let that be your um, way in, you know. So being present 
it does open the door to your soul energy because it's consciousness and consciousness is in consciousness so if we're not conscious we can't feel it you know so the minute we're in our heads and we're thinking and thinking and thinking we're out of our consciousness we're not in it anymore we're in we're in thought and we're so um, taken in by thought that there's no way that you can feel this other part of you that feels so much better and um, can really help you out in your life that is brilliantly smart you know that can give you all kinds of um, tips and ideas and support and um, I just can't go on enough about it it's really really hard to put into words you know sometimes when I do readings for people um, it, I, it could just bring me to tears the things that I feel from this energy that um, it, it's just amazing um, just poetic and beautiful and you you almost can't put it into words and I think that's probably why people use poetry because it's easier um, in some way to put it in a poetic sense than it is in verbally it's very very hard to put into words but I think that if you have felt it even for a second or two just when you were conscious being very conscious with something whether it was doing something that you love you you could feel that difference in yourself so that's what you want to strive for today is to feel that difference in yourself um, and to choose it just like you would choose what you're gonna wear or just like you're gonna choose um, what foods to eat you know you have your favorite outfits you have your favorite foods um, you know what makes you feel good you know what makes you feel bad um, so choosing your consciousness your soul energy your spirit choosing that over the ego mind is just like choosing a better breakfast or an outfit you love as opposed to I have no clothes so I'm just gonna throw this on and I don't really like it and I'm not even comfortable in it um, that's the difference it's a big difference huge difference so I hope that helps give it a shot um, as always I'm just so always encouraging people to try because it is so comforting and helpful um, especially when we're in challenging times and when we're having a lot of loss and we're having a lot of times where um, we don't understand maybe what's happening in our society why why this virus is here why why um, you know we have to live this certain way it really can help it really can help it gives us a, a, a different perspective a broader perspective and a perspective of understanding so um, give that a shot I hope it helps um, stay in touch be well as always, feel free to ask me questions at janismart40 at yahoo.com. I'm here, um, and I hope you're having some success in connecting to the beautiful energy that is you. Okay? Have a great one. Bye-bye.